Welcome to MAKE, Hands-On Intro to Engineering Design, a course taught at the University of South Florida. In this video, we are going to discuss modifying parts. This includes using the chamfer, fillet, and thread tools. Hello, we are going to be discussing some of the tools that Autodesk Inventor provides uh, to modify parts after they've been created uh, without using a new sketch or modifying any sort of sketch. So the tools I'm going to be discussing in this tutorial are the fillet, chamfer, and thread tools. If you're not familiar with the terms, the fillet creates a rounded edge uh, with a specified radius, and the chamfer creates a flattened edge, and you can define the dimensions uh, to specify how far in you want that edge flattened. The thread tool allows you to select a circular face and create a thread uh, based on that face. <clears throat> So we'll get started here and we can select the fillet tool. So we'll bring up the fillet dialog and uh, the selection criteria for this are edges and the only inputs you have are the radius. So if we see that there is a radius of one here and we select this edge, it gives us a nice preview of what the fillet will do. And as you can see, it's curved this edge uh, to a radius of one millimeter. We can select a few edges here and show you and it will apply them to multiple edges and we hit OK and that will create a nice rounded surface. The chamfer to tool works in a similar manner however it only works out on one edge at a time. If you select an edge it will flatten that edge based on uh, the dimensions that you give it. There are a few ways to define those dimensions. The one we have selected now uh, is a symmetrical distance from each side of the edge, set at 2 here. If we select the other solution, this requires us to select a face instead of a an edge um, first, and then when we select an edge, that defines the uh, edge that we want to perform the chamfer on, and the face defines the angle from which uh, that chamfer is measured. So if we say 60 degrees, you can see it increases. Uh, if we go back to 20, makes them much shallower. And then the final way is to just select both distances. So if we select this edge and we say we want it to go half a millimeter one way and two the other, we can see the preview. Uh, this gives us complete control over the chamfer. You can see make some other changes. You can see how it is affected. I'll just hit OK. So now, finally, we can go and uh, select the thread tool. And this will allow us to create the threads on this hole. This is a three millimeter hole. When we click thread and click that hole, <clears throat> it will automatically detect that it is a three millimeter hole and choose the most appropriate thread designation. Uh, because it's a three millimeter hole, it chose an M3 and the 0.5 millimeter thread pitch. We can also s select whether it is a full length thread, if there's an offset, uh, or if you want it to stop before the end. We're just going to leave it as full thread. Hit OK and now you can see that it's created a nice thread there in the center of our part. This concludes our video. Thanks for watching.